friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is an intermessent cataract the main challenge in intermessent cataracts is capsulorexis because of high intralenticular pressure in intermessent cataracts the rexis tends to run to periphery because of high intralenticular pressure so if we can reduce the intralenticular pressure by some means the surgery will be very easy so i have my own way of doing it using only hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose as viscoelastic substance after the main incisions i stain the anterior capsule with trypan blue dye wash the dye out with bss and then i use only 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose as the viscoelastic substance here it is this is 2% spmc the reason i use 2% spmc is i practice in an area where people cannot afford much so i found out this way of doing rexis i just make a flap on the anterior capsule is a c flap and convert this c flap with a ureter forceps into a mini rexis small rexis if the rexis tends to around to periphery we have enough room of safety for pulling the uh, rexis towards the center but if we aim for a large rexis it will run under the iris and it will be difficult or impossible to rescue the rexis the next step is this removal of some cortical lens matter to re reduce the intralenticular pressure yes if we reduce the intralenticular pressure by this means the rest of the surgery will be very very easy just like any other cataract 70 to 80% of these cataracts intermessent cataracts have soft nucleus the rest have hard nucleus so 70 to 80% cases are easy and now updating visco again a small cut is made at the margin of this mini rexis and this is known as mohanta's rexis by many of my colleagues though it is not invented by me yes i did it in my own way but long back many years back dr gimbel has done this but since i have used it many many times it is known as mohanta's rexis to my cos and now i go bevel down and now embed the teeth and chop it i got inspired by my friend dr jant hale of maharashtra to hold the nucleus in this way with bevel down so far i was afraid of holding the nucleus with bevel down but it's not so towards the later part of the surgery we can make the bevel off but initial some steps we can make it bevel down at this time bevel is up and i'm emulsifying the last nuclear fragment fecal power used in this case is phase 60% flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury and now you have to 
clean the cortical lens matter. I use 23G Simco in many of my cases. I also use bimanual irrigation aspiration. Usually I don't use a coaxial irrigation aspiration. What you will use is your choice. Make a thorough job, clean the cortex very nicely all around and polish the posterior capsule. I have my own way of polishing the posterior capsule. I use only the irrigating fluid to dislodge the cells from the posterior capsule and I call it hydro polish. The side ports are little larger. It's about 1.6 millimeter and a 23G Simco goes through these side ports easily. And now this is hydro polish. Only the fluid jet is being directed towards the posterior capsule by just slanting the probe and now irrigation and aspiration is being used together in FECO in IA2 mode where the vacuum is only very less only 20 millimeter of mercury and now this is hydro implantation keep the antechamber formed with irrigating fluid and inject a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens in the capsular bag. Yes, the lens has gone into the capsular bag. Irrigate the capsular bag because there was some visco used in the lumen of the cartridge. Recently my friend Dr. Gopal Arura showed that we can use only BSS in the cartridge and no visco goes into the antechamber at this stage. Mm -hmm. Now the surgery is almost done. The side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration. Corneal stroma on either side of the side ports are hydrated and these small stab wounds close. And now this is the final lavage of the antechamber. A gentle stream of fluid is directed towards the corneal endothelium at this time and visco from the corneal endothelium is cleaned. Yes, it is safe. Now the antechamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded. Thank you very, very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to take off challenging cases, to improve your skill to uh, such a height that you will not be afraid of any challenging cases.